This is a cow's liver, and it acts in the same way as yours, but it's a lot bigger. It's massive. It's extremely heavy. It certainly is. And even in humans, your liver is your biggest internal organ. One of your liver's main jobs is to make sure you have a steady supply of glucose. It's a backup energy storage system. But if I cut into it, what you can see is there are so many blood vessels running through the liver. It's got a massive blood supply. Hang on, let me get the ouch cam on that, Chris. This is amazing. Any glucose that isn't being used immediately for energy travels through these blood vessels so it can be stored here. This brown, mushy tissue is made up of liver cells called hepatocytes. Once glucose is stored in these clever hepatocyte cells, we call it glycogen, which is made of lots of sugar molecules that are stuck together, and it can store them in the liver's cells until it's needed by your body. We can show you how your liver turns these sugars into energy by setting fire to some glucose. We're going to need a safety screen, check. Protective face shields, check. Fire gloves, check. Come on, Grumbles, you too. Excellent. Let's burn 8,000 grains of rice over the next three months on a very small campfire. No, Chris, we're going big. We want the kind of glucose that gives a short energy burst explosion. Not particularly useful for the human body, but excellent for a glucose energy experiment. Pick one of my jelly sweets, Chris. Not the green one. Better. In this test tube is a chemical called potassium chlorate. At the moment, it's a powder, but I'm going to melt it using these blow torches. Here we go. We're using this to speed up the reaction that happens at a much slower rate in your body. Well, there we go. You ready, Zand? OK, I'm ready. Stand back. Drop in the jelly sweet, Chris. Ooh! Ah. <laughs> this is really good. Oh, wow! Look at it! It's a bit of flying out. There are sparks. It's white hot. It's making loads of noise. Let's see that again. You don't need to worry. There aren't many explosions going on inside you. It all happens very slowly. But what you can see here is how your liver turns one substance into another to release energy. We measure food energy in calories. Just that one sweet contained about 20 calories. Now that's a lot for one sweet, but you could get as much energy from five strawberries or half a carrot. <laughs> That's actually enough calories to get you through 30 minutes of sleeping, four minutes of walking around, or two minutes of running as fast as you can. Your liver is the biggest single store of glucose energy in your body. And when you're grown up, it will be able to store as many as 400 calories of energy. I mean, imagine what the full 400 calories that your liver can store would look like if it was all burnt at once. You don't need to imagine it, Zand. Let's supersize it. Three, two, two one, go. go. Look at all that energy. So we've shown you that we get glucose from the food we eat for energy and that it's stored in your liver's hepatocyte cells in the form of glycogen and that helps maintain your blood glucose levels. And that your liver is a powerhouse. It can store around 400 calories of energy, which are slowly released into your bloodstream to maintain a constant supply of energy.